Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Dani here and today's video is the second tutorial of this Andes collection um, crochet tutorials, crochet patterns. This video is all about the Andes neck warmer or Andes cowl, whatever you want to call it. It's a super chunky and beautiful neck warmer it's actually very easy and very quick to crochet and so this pattern and tutorial is also in collaboration with clover you guys know i love this brand and all my tools are from clover so i'm super super excited to be able to collaborate with them and before we get started please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet and i also want to remind you that all the links, all the materials, and everything you need to know, it's going to be listed in the description box below, so you can check that out after watching this video. So now, let's get started. So to make this neck warmer, you're gonna need two balls of this super bulky yarn. I'm using in here Lion Brand Thick and Quick, Wool is Thick and Quick, and this is the Bonus Bundle ball, so I'm using one of this bonus bundle but it equals two small skeins so you're gonna need two you're also gonna need a 10 millimeter crochet hook this is the clover a more jumbo crochet hook and it's very 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 comfortable to crochet with you're also gonna need scissors tapestry needle a measuring tape if you need it and you will also need a stitch marker and this is optional you don't need it but if you find it a little hard to count or to know where the first and the last stitch is this is gonna be very helpful so we're gonna begin with the foundation chain and we are going to chain 54 make sure not to do the chain extremely tight. Try to do it as normal tension as possible. So not too tight, not too loose. Now we're gonna join this chain. Just make sure it's not twisted. And let's go to the first chain in here. And to join this, just insert your hook. And slip stitch. So now for row number one, we're gonna start with the half double crochet slip stitch. And we're gonna do the same that we did with the uh, and this headband so instead of working in the front of your chain like we would normally do you're gonna turn your chain and work from the back so in here the very first loop that we have it's where we're gonna crochet the first stitch so yarn over insert your hook yarn over and pull through two so if you saw my last video you already know how to do this stitch but if you haven't watched it yet this this is how we do the double uh, half double crochet slip stitch so insert your hook yarn over and pull through two and again yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull through two and when we're gonna continue doing this all the way around making sure you're counting your stitches you should have 54 so it's very important so once you're done with row number one we're gonna join in here with the first stitch insert your hook and slip stitch and down here if you see that this is not even with this tail don't worry because we're gonna um, sew it in after and it's gonna be perfect so don't worry so for row number two 
chain one and instead of crocheting to the left we're gonna crochet to the right and to do this we're gonna turn the work and start crocheting like we would normally do and now we're gonna do the half double crochet slip stitch again but instead of um, grabbing the full stitch we're just gonna do it from the back loop only just like this so half double crochet slip stitch in the very first stitch and now continue doing this just from the back loop of your stitch only and continue doing this again if you find it hard to identify the last stitch that's the one that it's the hardest I would think for beginner so if you feel like it's hard to you to identify the last um, stitch make sure you are counting them all the way around that's the only way to know that we're not adding an extra stitch or that we're not crocheting um, less because that's gonna make our project even and super super beautiful <laughs> so continue doing this all the way around so once you are here done with row number two we're gonna join again with a slip stitch so insert your hook in the first stitch of that row and slip stitch to start row number three chain one turn your work and then repeat the same sequence half double crochet slip stitch from the back loop only just right here and if you're using the same yarn that I'm using um, you should be able to do 30 rows for the big uh, neck warmer or 15 if you are using just one skein so once you're done, cut your yarn, pull that little tail, and now we're gonna close it as I've shown in previous videos. This is the way I like to do it because it's seamless. You can't even notice that that's the, the join of that row. So insert your tapestry needle from the back of your stitch and then bring it up and pass it through the middle of the other stitch just like this and it's like we have created another stitch so you don't you don't even see it there which is perfect so now the only thing you need to do is weave in that end make sure it's nice and secure we don't want our project to fall apart especially if you're selling it <laughs> so make sure it's nice and secure And one you feel that it's good you just cut that tail and that's it so this is how your neck warmer should be looking this is the longer one this it's made with 30 rows it's super quick super squishy super warm and if you want to do a little one because not everybody likes super chunky and big neck warmers you can use just one skein and that's gonna give you like pretty much half of the previous um, neck warmer so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial if so please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and for sure subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that yet we still have two extra videos of this and this collection the next one is gonna be a super cute hat and you're gonna have all the sizes so you can make it from newborn to adult so that's gonna be great if you want the reading pattern for this um, neck warmer you can find it in my blog I'm gonna leave all the links in the description box below I'm gonna leave all the materials so if you don't if you can find the exact same materials at least you're gonna know the specifications and everything so everything is gonna be listed in the description box below and the reading pattern free reading pattern it's going to be on my blog so you can check that out as well and yeah i hope you guys enjoy it i hope you liked it please share it with all your friends and i'll see you next week 
with the next um, <laughs> and this collection video. Bye guys!